Hello, hello, my name is Blossoms and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. And today we're going to be going over the Shimanawa's Reminiscence set on Yanfei. For those of you who don't know, I'm a big Yanfei fan and uh, I really like her kit, her aesthetic. She is one of my just kind of like favorite characters, at least aesthetically. And I think her kit's pretty fun too, especially since she was one of the first characters that really allowed us to have proper overload comps. Uh, and now that Yoi Mi is coming out, we actually have another character, so that's pretty cool as well. But I was kind of looking through a bunch of the characters and seeing which ones could really take advantage of Shimanoa's Reminiscence, the brand new set that came out alongside uh, the Emblem of Severed Fate. And I kind of landed on Yanfei. A lot of characters that can use it can use it fairly effectively, but you kind of have to build your team a little bit around it and you got to change some of your substats. I could make a whole video discussing that if you guys like. If you guys actually you know, want me to talk about more on uh, Shimi Nawa's, you know, leave a comment in the section below and I'll actually go ahead and make a video about that. But um, I think Yanfei is probably the only one who didn't care about the downside. And a lot of you might be wondering, well, what do I mean by that? So Shimanawa's Reminiscence, for those of you who don't know, two piece increases that attack percent by 18%. And then the four piece, uh, basically when you cast your E skill, you lose 15 energy on your elemental burst, but you gain 50% normal charge and plunging attack damage for 10 seconds. And the reason this works so well on Yanfei is because her E skill has a nine second cooldown. So you can keep up Shimanawa's Reminiscence 100% of the time on Yanfei. And, uh, but a lot of you might be, well, then you lose out of your elemental burst. So why, why would you do that? Because on done deal, you, you get some extra charge attack damage and you gain those Scarlet Seals. And Shimanawa's Reminiscence is basically giving you the biggest bonus of your elemental burst for free. You're not gonna need to charge up an 80 cost burst. The only downside here is that you're not going to be getting the Scarlet Seal every one second and you're not going to do that initial skill damage, but I don't think those matter so much considering you get her Scarlet Seal so easily on her normal attacks anyway that you don't really need the extra help here and uh, you can just kind of not even need Yanfei's Elemental Burst if you're using the Shimanawa's Reminiscence. Now that isn't to say that you don't need to use your or you need to just entirely avoid your Elemental Burst you can still get it. Surprisingly enough, uh, Yanfei's teams with like Xing Shou or, or Fischl or something, those characters that already help her uh, generate a little bit of extra energy are um, going to help her get her elemental burst still and you're still going to be able to get the effect of Shimanawa's Reminiscence pretty much as much as you want. We're going to show all of this off of course, but um, yeah, you can basically have your, the effect of your elemental burst at all times on Yanfei with Shimanawa's, which is actually pretty darn good. And uh, a lot of things, you know, one more thing that a lot of people don't think about with this is the fact that uh, typically Yanfei's best set is either uh, Four Piece Wonders Troop or uh, Four Piece uh, Witch's Burning Plume. And these are great. Uh, Witch's set especially uh, is nice because you just get a general pyro damage bonus and, uh, you know, a general reaction bonus. That is fantastic for her, especially since she wants to be doing reactions a lot of time. Uh, this is really good because you get Elemental Mastery, which does help with your reactions, and then you get extra charge attack damage, which is really good for her because she's so fo focused on her charge attack. But the nice thing about Shimanawa's Reminiscence is the fact that it increases your normal attacks too. Not only are you getting 50% charge attack bonus, you're getting 50% normal attack bonus, and that's really nice because you are almost always using your normal attacks and then using your charge attack. Of course, you use your E skill, you charge attack right away, but your next charge attack is going to be three normal attacks and then a charge attack to make sure you have all of your Scarlet Seals and deal as much damage as you can with your charge attack. And those normal attacks are gonna be doing 50% extra damage than they would be normally. And that's kind of one of the nicest parts about Shimanawa's that I think a lot of people are kind of forgetting here, especially on a character like Yanfei, is that she can take full advantage of that by having her normal attacks also deal at additional damage. And I think people are kind of underrating that aspect, especially, you know, when you're pairing her with characters like Shinsho or Fischl, and they are going to be reacting even on the normal attacks, Shimanawa's is going to be even better. And that is kind of one of something I wanted to drive home, but let's go ahead and talk about the build here. And then, uh, so of course I've got attack percent, pyro damage bonus, and crit rate. And, um, I've got some decent stats here, nothing too crazy. The things you're going to want to be searching for in your substats are, of course, crit rate and crit damage. Uh, those are really going to be what help you out. But elemental mastery is something you're really willing to want to care about, because if you want Yanfei to be an effective DPS, you've basically got a pair of characters that are going to uh, react with her because she's just not 
all that strong on her own, unfortunately. I mean, she is a five star, so that's kind of to be expected. But you are going to want things like Elemental Mastery. A bit of energy recharge can't hurt and attack percent isn't wrong either. But crit rate, crit damage and EM are probably going to be some of your best bets. Uh, for her specifically. Now, as for a weapon with this, I actually chose to go with the Wid Sith. And for those of you who have been sticking around with the, on the channel for Yanfei, I was a huge fan of Dodo Code Tales, and I still am. I think it's a more consistent version, but my crit rate and crit damage ratios were a little off, so I had to offset it with something like the Wid Sith, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Wid Sith, considering it's a lot more inconsistent with its passive there, but it does have the crit damage substat there, which is very nice. Uh, otherwise, I would 100% be using Dodo Code Tales if I had a proper proper uh, crit damage ratio. Uh, my constellations on Yanfei are I've finally gotten her to C2, which is nice because her charge stat gets a extra 20% crit rate on enemies below 50, which is nice. And then, you know, reduced stamina consumption. Can't really go wrong there. And uh, so let's go ahead and just kind of show this off. I'm going to show you guys what I mean, how well she pairs, you know, with her usual pairings of maybe like Shin Cho and Fischl or something, and uh, how she doesn't really care about her uh, elemental burst losing its energy. So we're going to go ahead and get right to the uh, Regisvine bullying. Uh, it's very important that we do it immediately. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the shield down with her. And then we'll uh, we'll just pair something, you know, simple like uh, her and Shin Cho at first. Just so you guys uh, see how uh how good this could be and you saw we lost energy there big time you know and uh then we're just going to go ahead and do her usual combos here and you'll see she was still able to get her burst back and not only that we have our e skill back and uh we can still keep going the basically you are still going to be gaining energy and i think that's kind of what i wanted to show off the most here is the fact that even though you're using your e-skill and you are losing that 15 energy you're going to be gaining it back while you're doing your normal attacks and especially if you're you're pairing her with a character like fischl that was actually a really good example i'm really glad that worked out that way um because you're still going to be able to get a net positive yes your energy gain is really really slow but you are going to have a relative net positive to eventually cast your Q and then you are going to be able to start stacking uh, your Shiminawas on top of your Q if you you know are generating a ton of energy. That was only Shinsho and Yanfei. So you could imagine if you use her in an overload comp like I typically do with Fischl, then you're going to be generating even more energy. You're going to be able to stack her Q on her E, etc. with Shiminawas. And you can see how can that, that can really start to get out of hand. I mean, we annihilated that boss uh, with just her and Xing Shou. Let's go ahead and show her off on another boss. All right, so we're going to actually fight the, uh, the big boy Vishap here. Uh, I'm going to be using Zhongli for a shield, and we're actually going to be using Fish Lion Xing Shou as well. Just to show you guys, uh, you know, how much damage she's doing one and how much energy she's, energy she's actually gaining on her Q2. Uh, just so you guys get the, the full the full look as to uh, how good Shiminawas can be on her and uh, how much damage she actually gets to do like this. Um, and as you can see, we are still gaining, uh, you know, Energy. and you saw that we were actually still there on our actual uh, uh, queue there. I decided to use my E anyway. Just kind of ignore that. And yeah, you can see that we are still gaining energy regardless of when we use it, especially when you're using her with the characters she's already going to be getting used with. Uh, you know, those being like these guys. I See, I'm not even casting my Q because I don't even care because I'm still getting this bonus. And you can see that I, I can use my Q if I'd like to, like I'm still getting enough energy for it and still able to go ahead and proc Shimanawas as much as I'd like. And uh, yeah, hopefully that gives you guys an idea of how good this actually is on her because it's very good. Um, I wouldn't even say that was probably the most optimal play uh, because we were out of stamina a lot there, uh, which is kind of irregular for her because, you know, uh, I, I was just sprinting a little bit too much, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically, you can actually still get her Q, gain energy uh, while using Shimanawas with her and keeping it uh, at an uptime of 100%. And uh, basically, you're just always going to have that charge attack bonus. And not only that, Shimanawa is going to be getting that normal attack bonus. And I think that's a lot more valuable than people are giving you credit for. And that's why I think this is probably one of Yanfei's new best sets. You are constantly having a huge bonus on her and it is really good. And it's not really impeding you uh, like it normally would on some of the other characters that it does impede. 
anyways, I think that's going to be it for the video. I just wanted to show off that Shimon always is really good on Yanfei. And uh, if you guys are Yanfei fans like me, it's probably going to be the set for her. So if you get some good pieces, go ahead and slap her on uh, that Shimon always set. But uh, let me know how you guys are building your Yanfei. What you thought about this video? If you have any critiques, I'd love to see them in the comment section below. But other than that, my name's Blossoms, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.